Hey Simmers and Animal Lovers, it's Erin, the Rescue Simmer, and welcome back to another episode of the Shelter Play Along. This should be a pretty short episode today. We are going to be focusing pretty exclusively on Sulani just for this episode, but I should have another episode for you guys this week. Don't hold me to that on a normal basis. As we have all proven before, I just cannot do it. <laughs> so the reason that we are in Sulani today, as Miss Penny Hodge is sitting out on her gorgeous deck outlooking this beautiful island view, is because of these two good boys. They have been adopted in their respective rescues. Like I said, Tito got adopted a little while ago. That escaped my notice. Ben is still officially pending his adoption. However, like I said, his rescue handles adoptions a little bit differently. So Ben is adopted. So we are going to go ahead and get them both their homes today. I think first we'll do Ben's home. And then we are going to go ahead and give our Tito boy, our longest awaiting pet, his forever home. Alrighty, so now that everybody is clean and said hello to this morning, very first, let's travel with our good Benny boy to the Bello family home. Now remember, this was an upload by Alexis 10. So mom Ashley works as a conservationist and Cole works as a lifeguard. Those are mom and dad. And their daughter Destiny enjoys swimming with their dog Frankie, but Frankie's getting older. So they are thinking about bringing on another dog for them and for Frankie. So thank you, Alexis, so much for uploading loading this beautiful family. Penny is asking Ben to just meet Ashley. It was a little bit hectic last time. There was a lot of other dogs. Oh, hello, good boy, Ben. Now, if you guys remember Ben, real Ben, who was available for adoption through Villalobos Rescue Center, is deaf. He is not hearing in either ear, and his rescue had said that he doesn't act much like a deaf dog. They actually had him for quite a long time. Oh, Ashley's so nice. Before they even realized it, they did have some questions, but he's so observant and so responsive. And of course he was just born that way. He doesn't know any different. That they really didn't know for the longest time and they felt really good about having him in a home, but they did make a mention that they would have to look at somebody specifically for Ben that knew that he was deaf. So they worked with him on behavior. Ben is just sniffing around. I want to see if he introduces himself to anybody. Like I said, he is the sim self of a dog who is deaf. Obviously, we don't have a way to, to do that in The Sims, but Ben is a very curious dog. So I'm interpreting that as him just checking out his surroundings because he can't hear his other senses have to help him out more. Oh my gosh, Destiny. <laughs> she's like, oh my gosh, he's him, he's here. She's hugging dad. She's like, I love him. I love him. I want him. So I think right now what I'm gonna have Penny do is just show them his obedience tricks, his hand signals. Those are gonna be incredibly important for Ben and any dog that is deaf or hard of hearing. Sight and smell is really how he processes the world. So any sit, stay, come, getting his attention, those have hand signals that have to go along with that. Oh, dad's really loving those. Oh, so is Destiny. Mom is just trying to manage everything. Oh, Frankie. Hi, Frankie. Is Frankie coming to see? Oh, oh my gosh. Everybody loves him. Good job, Ben. Oh, Penny is just going over the last minute adoption things with them. She is talking about how Ben has found his forever home. So let's go ahead. Let's pause here as the nap instructor gets here and let's get this paperwork finalized. So we are transferring ownership of Ben over to the Bello family and let's transfer over the thousand simoleons because he is a foster animal. And with that, Ben is now Ben Bello. Oh, congratulations, Ben. He has just made himself at home. This is such a great place for Ben. I know that he is going to have so much fun swimming with Destiny, being Frankie's friend, and giving mom and dad some good cuddles. So we'll go ahead and we will let them settle in peace and let Ben get on with his family life and we will pop back home. Alrighty, so Penny is home home. She is going to call. Oh, Tito is out. He must know that we're going. She has her jacket on because we are leaving with Tito all the way to Newcrest. Now, Penny has had very interesting emails back and forward with the Newcrest Police Department. So this is the police station. It also doubles as a training academy. So there are no criminals here, <laughs> but uh, Penny has been talking back and forward with them. Can we knock on the door? Yes. Oh, Mateus. 
Do you want to go out on a date? Oh my gosh. Uh, no, not now. <laughs> Poor Mateus. He is like into her. But anyway, I digress. So here is the police department. This is where people would go to like file missing persons reports, all of that. Here is the chief's office. Upstairs is a residential area for the recruits, for the trainees. We've got some beds. We have a living room area. We've got the kitchen, a workout area, bathroom, all that. They have been looking to expand their unit right now. There's just two. Oh, it looks like Trenton is here. So let's do a friendly introduction so that she can finally meet Trenton because they have been going back and forward. And they're just talking about how Trenton and his partner are looking to become a canine unit. So that's what they're here for. And they have been looking pretty extensively for a dog. Now, Tito has some amazing traits to be able to help them out with that. So although Tito is a troublemaker, he is both loyal and very smart. So he is a guy that is gonna form connections really quickly and very strongly with his owner. And he knows a ton of tricks, you guys. So let's have her run through those with Trenton because it's gonna be largely Trenton's dog. And they're really looking to see in the bathroom, as weird as that is, if Tito could become canine Tito. So he would become an officer. I couldn't imagine a better life for this boy. There he goes. Good job, Tito. Yep, speak. That's right, speak. Yeah, Officer Trenton is loving this. He's like, this is amazing. Yeah, Tito knows a ton of tricks. And I think Penny would be just really, really happy to be able not only to have saved an animal all through, <laughs> through rescue in general, but to also be able to contribute to a community to give them a canine officer. And as you can see, they have been very excitedly awaiting Tito's arrival. He's got a nice big dog bed toy box full of toys and a food bowl over here. He's also got a bed in each one of the recruits bedrooms. So he really gets the rule of the roost. I really wish that Trenton's partner were here, but that is a-okay. He and his partner have a trusting relationship. I am sure that she will be fine with whomever Trenton decides is going to be a good canine partner. And guys, I really think that this is it. So what I will do is pause here and move Tito over to be canine Tito of the Newcrest Police Department. What a proud moment and great life for this boy. Penny is just gonna go and fill that bowl. I wonder where Tito went. <laughs> um, we went ahead, transferred him over. He is now found his forever home. He is gonna be serving his community. I am so excited. Oh, look, there's his partner, Miss Elena Houseworth. It looks like they actually got married, you guys. Uh, I didn't make them that way, uh, but there's been a lot of time. Oh, here's Tito, Tito boy. Yes, go inside. He is just meeting the members of the community. He is going to be so perfect for this, you guys. Let's go home and let Tito settle in to his new role and family. Oh, uh, after a long day, here we are back at the Sulani Animal Rescue. Look at that happy sigh from her. I will tell you what though, as proud as Penny is, <laughs> I'm a little bit sad. <laughs> I can say that as happy as I totally am for Ben and Tito. They definitely needed homes. They have been here for so long. I'm gonna miss them a lot. That's the hard part of rescue. There's our little hibiscus. <laughs> she is just swimming. Gosh, she loves to do that. I think Penny's gonna wanna spend some time with hibiscus. She's adventurous, so let's just take her on an adventure to kind of close this out. Give our little girl, who's gone through quite a bit of growth, <laughs> some attention and just continue the work, you guys. So I am going to end the episode here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching along and as always, happy simming. Thank you.